Yo guys, what's up? This is Dave, the Oops of here, and let's talk about battery. Now, depending on the size of the battery in your phone will depend on the battery life duration. If you have a very small battery, then you're destined to have forever limited battery life. However, through the years of dealing with different inner devices, I have learned a few tricks that help me prevent my battery from draining so fast. Now, keep in mind, what I'm about to show you is not scientific in any way and just comes from personal experience, so your mileage may vary. So, let's check it out. The first way to conserve battery power is to turn off mobile data when you're not using it. Now, this is probably the only method that I guarantee will save you a few percentage points. See, we all have this preconceived notion that we should keep our data on all the time. However, when you go into a place that has weak signal, whether it be a building, house, subway, etc., your phone spends a lot of time trying to search for signal. The longer it takes to lock onto a solid connection, the more battery power you're wasting especially if you have apps like Facebook Messenger or Google Sync that's trying to sync data in the background. By turning off mobile data, I usually save between 15 to 20% battery life. Now, if you wanted to take things a step further, you can also put your phone in airplane mode, but that will prevent you from sending any messages and making calls. The second way to conserve battery power is to turn off Google Location Reporting found within the Google Now settings. Google Location Reporting is a service that periodically reports back the location of your device. While this could be helpful when using multiple devices across one Google account, a lot of people find this unnecessary and just plain creepy. Another way to save battery life is to change the location setting to device only. Now this method will only work with devices running Android 4.4 and above. Now some people will probably disagree with me if I told them that device only conserves more battery power than battery saving. When setting the location to device only, it effectively prevents apps like Facebook and Google Now from gathering a location. So yeah, you're losing features, but in the process you're saving some battery power. Now here's another method which most of you might disagree with me. Turning off auto brightness. See, some devices change brightness levels too aggressively. Turning them towards the light for a second could kick them up to 100% brightness. While some devices just favor a higher brightness level, it's better to keep it at a comfortable reading level, preferably on a lower side, and change it higher only when you feel you need to. The final method to conserve battery power is to control rogue apps. A lot of times, there is an app or two that's draining an excessive amount of battery power. Now, you can either go into the battery settings to find said app, or download an app called GCM Battery Monitor. I highly recommend GCM because not only does it give you detailed descriptions of the app that's causing the drain, it also provides information on potential wake locks. And if you're rooted, you might want to try the app Greenify. It will allow you to hibernate apps until you actually launch them. So there you have it, a few ways in which you can save battery life on your Android device. Now, if you have a method that I did not mention, leave a comment down below and tell us about it. And as always, thanks for watching and stay tuned for another galvanizing video. Thanks.